Hello guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. I hope you guys are doing well today. I just I just want to do a quick video just to warn you guys uh, about some of my experiences recently with Track IR. Now I'm using Track IR 5 and I originally used a Track IR Pro Clip. I used that because I thought the quality of the head tracking maybe would be higher blah 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 anyway i've always used that in the past it's called a track ir pro clip and it will basically clip onto your headset and there'll be a little kind of arc here it's like a plastic arc and then there'll be a wire that comes off now i've had an issue with this the first one i owned it broke first of all what happened was the the connector on here there's on the plastic bit that arcs around your head there's there's a connector so that it will pivot that is really weak it broke um, and in the end it was kind of unusable and I thought I'd buy a new one so I thought okay so I bought another one and then it broke in the exact same place and not only that I mean then I thought okay I have to fix this so basically then I used some kind of glue and I I fixed it but it was not really a perfect solution because it helps if you can actually pivot the thing because then it will arc around your head more perfectly which I assume is better so then the exact same th thing happened with this the second one that I ordered uh, even though I was really careful with it still broke in exactly the same way and then also it started having some USB surge. It would come out every time I plugged it in, it says there's a USB power surge, and it's really annoying. So I'm making this very quick video just to say, I would highly recommend you do not buy the Track AR Pro Clip until they sort out these issues with the quality, because it really is not acceptable for a product, which I believe is around, it's over 100, US it might be as high as 140 150 US I don't remember exactly but it's an expensive thing it's a premium thing if you consider it's just a piece of plastic that clips onto your headset with a wire I mean I'm sure it can't be that complicated so my my number one recommendation if you use track IR is very simple buy a hat <laughs> because when you buy the original track IR sensor thing that goes on your monitor when you buy that and I haven't had any issues with that by the way the actual sensor thing always works fine no problem with that so they, they always when you buy the sensor they will give you one of these free in the pack so it's it's very easy all you have to do is buy a hat that has a peak on it and then look, it will fit onto your hat and then you wear your hat whenever you're playing a game uh, which you would like track IR and it's not elegant I and mean, it looks a little bit stupid but it doesn't affect me at all really as you can see I can wear my headphones fine it's absolutely fine and I thought that the quality of the head tracking might be slightly less but I find it perfect, it works really well like, I, you know, I don't have any issues with the head tracking so there you go guys very quick video do not buy the track IR pro clip it's a waste of money I mean I've spent it must be at least 300 or it might be over $300 including all of the the packaging and everything because also because you might ask oh why don't you return them but I'm really lazy because I live in Hong Kong and I have to send it all the way from Hong Kong back there back to America and it's just a nightmare. So in the end, I just kind of, I write it off and I've kind of worked out that the pro clip just is not worth it. So I'm going to have to look really stupid from now on whenever I play a game where I want track IR. But I'm kind of used to that. It's okay. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any specific questions about the track IR or about my t-shirt, you can ask them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.